Hey everyone, we are back. Last time we whooped Misty's ass, and now we are going across Nugget Bridge. Maybe. Wow, Route 24 has been changed drastically. Let's get out Pikachu for this then. This is going to be a double battle. Nope. There are a lot of trainers out in this field. It's a great place to test your skill and see how strong you are. Great. Assume he has a bug trainer. Saying now his Caterpie. Another Weedle. Let me guess, they're all going to be the middle stages now. Sorry, I just, I don't have anything to say about this. I mean, they're all bugs. What else can I say? But they're bugs. Yeah, see, there we go. Kakuna is now metapod. How fortuitous. And you're dead. Not dead, but fainted, but whatever. And Pikachu reclaims glory after retreating to the Destiny. Good stuff, man. Yeah, definitely. What do you have to say? I did my best, I have no regrets. Oh, so this is a love and life thing, thank you very much. But it's now Nugget Road. Okay, I'll take a look. It has quick attack anyway. And slam. Slam. Yeah. Of course. And you're not necessary. You quit using the tweet there. That'll be much good anyway, since you're painted. That was rough. How could I lose? Well, your Pokemon lost, so therefore you lose. That's all I can say. I think they're all gonna say the same thing. North, the Pokemon Technical Institute of Training. Oh! I wonder if this is the one with, um... Remember that one episode where Ash challenges this one trainer, and... According to the, um... That one guy, he said that he had, like, won 99 times, and... Ash lost, and that makes his 100th 100, 100th match won, so he actually ventures out to become a Pokemon trainer. Do you guys remember that? I do. Kind of amazing that I do remember that because that was just so long ago. Now we're facing Timmy. Timmy and his Sandshrew. Not slammed on him too funny because Pikachu had a miss. And now you're paralyzed. Now would you please not miss? Thank you very much. Had to be in the spot. And of course I didn't have to make the sound true paint like this. Twice. Now we're facing that. Give me 
awful memories of Jesse's Nuggets, which is that level 17. Kind of under leveled, huh? And I don't know why I paralyzed it all of a sudden, but I guess it goes in our benefit. I don't think I'll do that again. That was just that was just be once for posterity. I'm not into that. Okay, I'm not bad into battling, but I'll play. I don't know what's wrong with my reading today. Apparently, I'm still sounding drunk as usual. Well, I don't drink. Okay, I drink a little wine, but. We're not really actually allowed wine where I live at, so, yeah. I live on campus, so we had alcohol is definitely alcohol. Well, you know, it's just safety precautions. I mean, you don't want to drink and drive. You don't want to cause a ruckus with your neighbors. I lost two. You know, sometimes you just have to have rules and regulations. They're there for your safety. Follow it with closed caution, folks. I'm pitching a tent. Want to help? No. I'm not helping you pitch a tent. You're a camper. You should know how to pitch a tent. Unless you're actually a junior scout, then I can take that, but... If you've gained more than, like, five badges, then you really should know how to pitch a tent by now. I don't know why I randomly use Slam. That goes out in our favor anyway. And Ethan is down. Ooh, too much. Same old dialogue. And there's, a. Uh, there's a Mr. Chubby up ahead. I should probably call him Rossini. <laughs> Rossini is up ahead. Up to give me manuscript of William Tell. How amazing. Congratulations for being your five trainers. You're offered a score of William Tell. Or the Barber's Here it looks like Rossini, Beethoven, Clara Schumann. I'm assuming that guy with the hat is Shostakovich. Numero Sieta coming up. That's not how you speak Spanish, there, buddy. Yeah. See, I knew it! He looks a lot like Rossini. Yeah, look at his grin. I mean, doesn't that look a little bit more Rossini ish to you? Doesn't that look a little bit more. Glorified. And keep in mind, he loved to eat, so yeah. <laughs> Legend has it he actually died from eating. From... I mean, he was pretty old at the time, but still. Um... Yeah. I guess he died from overeating. And of course, I had to be paralyzed. What a shock. Oh, yes, either. I made a pun. Pretty bad pun, but okay. Thundershock it. Let's thundershock that leaky ton. My name is Ishmael. Well, you're definitely routine to me. Don't, don't lie to me. You look exactly how I feel to me. And why did you stop oil when you're already at full health? I know it has very dickish defense, but we can take this chance out of nowhere. If we stop being paralyzed!
All right, I think I'll play uh, my next move here. Fight chess in a way, and would you quit being paralyzed, Pikachu? Thank you. Let's finish it off with a quick attack. And of course, you had to be crack. And of course, the chance you had to use soft world. Of course. We can quit using soft oil. You're already like at a quarter of health. You're three quarters of health recovered. I mean, and what the quit being paralyzed? God's sake, Pikachu. Never have I been so annoyed at this one battle. Maybe after I mentioned Rosini, it just made him mad and he just had to use soft boils and attempt to paralyze me. Like a douchebag. I'm almost at level 23 and it's a wiggly tough. Yay! Big experience of her. Let's slam it to oblivion. If the par paralysis will let me, thank you. Because we all know what happens when you're paralyzed. Basically, 99% you're paralyzed. Well, the opponent is 19%. Oh, of course, my slant had to be disabled. Of course. You know what? Two can play at that game. Oh, God, no. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I lost to a Wigglytuff. My Pikachu lost to a Wigglytuff. How sad is that? You die now, Wigglytuff. I don't care if it's fainted or die, you die now. You're a dick, Ishmael. My collective rare Pokemon lost. Yes. And after that gruesome battle, we are going to stop right here. To be continued!